afternoon guys, so today I'm going to review my treadmill uh, because unfortunately this will be the last time you see this beast treadmill because uh, somebody broke it. I'm not too sure what happened, uh, but the electricals have been playing up for a while now and then one day it just won't turn on anymore. So I've tried to fix it, but unfortunately it's broken. So I thought I'd make a little review on this treadmill, give my thoughts about it and whether or not you should buy a treadmill. Uh, like this sort of one. So we'll start off with the console. As you can see it has quite a lot of functions. Uh, there's a fan function which I never really use because I'm pretty sure it takes away power from the actual motor so I don't use the fan. But yeah there's a lot of programs, a lot of good features, it has the incline, the speed and the hand sensors were terrible in my opinion uh, but I've never had much luck with hand sensors on treadmills before. But yeah overall I really like the console design. Quite minimalist but I really liked it. Not a lot of uh, excess gimmicks, which is uh, normally a bad sign if a treadmill has a lot of gimmicks on it. So the running mat is really large and solid as well. I never once slipped off of this treadmill mat. So as you can see, it's a really solid piece of equipment. Really high quality. What I really liked about this treadmill is the feet. It gives it a really solid and stable running design. So this treadmill has a really good horsepower motor. I always recommend to get a high horsepower motor just to make sure uh, the engine can cope with a lot of running. I've had this treadmill for about a year now, I believe. I love every single second of it. But would I recommend uh, this treadmill for home use? Absolutely not. And the reason I would not recommend it for home use is because of the weight. It weighs about as much as a medium-sized mountain. It was a nightmare to get in. I had to get four people to help me lift it in and it nearly cracked all of the tiles uh, in my house. So yeah, it was a terrible idea uh, to get this machine. Although it's an excellent machine, uh, it's definitely not ideal for home use unless you live in a perfectly flat area with no walls. So apart from that excellent consumer advice, I would highly recommend this treadmill, but I would not highly recommend it for home use. If you're using it at a gym, I'm sure you'll get a lot of good use from it. But for home use, I would recommend just a standard home-based treadmill. So one thing I will say is this treadmill is really expensive as well. I would not recommend it for outdoor use. Um, I got a really good deal on the treadmill, but for uh, just buying a standard version of this treadmill, I would not recommend the price, especially just for home use. But overall, an excellent treadmill, but also a terrible treadmill for home use. So I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you in the next one.